Hey everybody, my name is Tektos and this is Let's Play and the Space 2. We're currently uh, bashing the Riftborn to where they belong, into oblivion pretty much. Um, just deciding if we leave them a planet or two. <laughs> uh, also we need to do something about our dust, I was about to say, but apparently something happened that took care of it. We just need to... Uh, wait for the turn to load. There we go. Okay, extreme composites. Oh, cool. We can uh, now get more manpower. Manpower production, that is. Pretty good. <clears throat> and we do have another quest in that line. Agri drugs for even more manpower or commercial frameworks. Hmm. Reach Zub in less than 10 turns or... Olvaldi. Let's see what Olvaldi is. And also we have the ground battle. We'll uh, just go in there. Major victory. But they're drafting, so they're sacrificing their population that they soon shouldn't have anymore. Um, Olvaldi. Where is that? Probably you guys see it already, and I'm just daydreaming. What was it? Olvaldi or Zubin in 10 turns. Um, I think you could surge... Couldn't you? Galaxy view... Um, trade scan, was it here? Was it there? Game menu? No, that's just a regular game menu. Darn it! I know there's some way to surge, but... Okay. Um... I don't think I know these systems. Ah, there's Olivaldi. Okay. Where's Zubin? Zubin, Zubin, Zubin is not visible. Um, Olivaldi is a bit hard to reach there. Um, let's see. Orbit around until... Okay, so we have 10 turns to bring a fleet there, and then we'll probably have to beat some pirates. And we'll get a tech for it. I'd much rather get the commercial tech there, but... Where could Zubin be? Just one more scan. Okay, I don't think we see it. Ah, <sighs> okay, I guess we'll have to go for Olivaldi, because I can't find... I don't know where Zubin is. Um, and in less than 10 turns... You know what? Actually, we can risk it. I mean, I don't really need this Agri Drug tech. Hang on. Enhanced Worker Class Hall. No, really don't need that. It's cheaper to find that. So we'll try for the commercial framework. We'll... Okay, it's somewhere here. All right. Do we have a scout available? Um, we have one camping out here. That... Could be sent there, hopefully. Maybe like so, is that possible? Ten turns, alright, that's gonna be a minute. Mm. How long for you? Six turns, okay. So I think I'll split off a little army there and uh, try to get there. Hopefully it's right after the um, right after the wormhole there. <clears throat> and of course we don't need the... We can just leave these guys here. I'm thinking. Um, the parasites... Oh, they do have 10 movement points, so we could take one with us like so. That should be fine together with the hero ship. And then it's gonna be four turns. That's much more realistic. Alright, we'll we'll do that. And this should be enough to continue on. Minus twenty on Empire. Oh yeah, that's why we had okay, okay. Good. Alrighty. That was a bit of a slow turn there. And we we're happy again in our homeworld, which then means we are loyal overall. Great. Uh, building one more parasite and then we need to hang on where we're bleeding most of our money we're bleeding it for military upkeep obviously 
There are laws in place, um, or there are laws that we could enact. But... Low fleet cost, yeah, not really. Us or them would really help, but we don't have that influence. Alright, so we'll just bleed some money and we'll just send some strategic resources. That's that's okay. Um, as soon as we have the uh, cultural in verdicts, uh, we'll, we'll make some progress, I think. <clears throat> so, 200 return is, uh, I mean, that is significant. But I think we, we can handle it. Ground battle. Could we please have this freaking planet now? Decisive victory, and they finally, but I mean, we bombed all the things out there, so they only have two, they have one improvement and two people on there. <laughs> so, uh, we can consume it. No, no, we're just gonna occupy, because we are gonna go for the domination victory, obviously. Um, we'll suffer treason penalty, blah, 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 okay. So you guys can then come over here, help out with the siege. Actually, not sure. We'll just have. Ah, oh, man, get me this ship. Okay. Okay. We'll send you in two. Wave. There's wave number one, and then there's wave number two. All right, and then here we'll start from scratch again. Drone network, casino, industrial things. We have like zero population here. That's interesting. How could they be mutinous if there's zero population? Does that make sense? I, that doesn't make any sense to me. But hey. Mm -hmm. You reached a higher level. Um, we do want this. And then we want the science and the things. Right. Um, Artemis has finished its queue. Uh, Artemis was up here, right? Yes, 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 on the front lines here. <clears throat> we have a nice couple systems. Uh, we do have ice that's going to reduce approval, though we are ecstatic on this system. But still, I think it's quick. Yeah, two turns. We'll get this. Mm, and then we'll start trying for some money. I think we have to. Um, plus two per population on planets. Plus three and plus one. What oh, do we need? Luxury deposits. We have that on pretty much any planet. So yeah, Xenotourism agencies, absolutely perfect here. Oh, let's do it like this. Just one more turn. And that should be enough for the approval here. What else? Oh, nothing else really. Only problem I have now is that this new acquisition dropped our empire approval so we don't get 15% science bonus which is also very significant. Don't think I could do much about it though. Uh, yeah, not really. We'll, we're about to get some systems a little bit happier but it's just that. A little bit of happiness. Um, I will, in fact, though, adjust my tech tree just a little bit. Um, we're going to put this unstable isotope in here because it's going to give us a nice um, system defense that's also going to improve the standing of the militarists on the systems. It's quick to build, very quick to tech. So we'll just get that. Um, and then some bigger fleets might be in order, yeah. There we go. Bigger and cheaper fleets, because we are really bleeding money on those on those fleets. Uh, not that we can't afford it, but we could take steps to make it a little cheaper. Why wouldn't we? Oh, by the way, guys, um, oh, plus ten on some system. Okay, is that already enough? Um, where was I? Yeah, by the way, guys, if you have that, um, what was that? Oh, sorry, guys, absolute brain fart. Um, what I was, uh, what I was about to ask is, uh, if you have these uh, long end of turn loading times, have had those reduced by our processor upgrade, 
Um, would you be so kind and let me know in the comments? That would be very, very nice. Because I'm thinking of upgrading. Currently, the uh, new lines of AMDs are, I think, reasonably priced. And my holiday is coming up soon. So I am considering uh, spending my couple days of my holiday anyway to upgrade my CPU which is a bit of an affair for me because I need to reinstall I mean obviously everybody needs to reinstall I think I'll take this one here it's cheaper though do we have something to improve high gravity huh no not taking you Aurora waves uh, maybe we'll take you yeah, I'll take you first. Because we are growing still. Mm. Militarist approval. Oh, everything's nice. Um, yeah, because as I uh, maybe have hinted in one or two videos already, I am playing on a virtual machine. So I have uh, that whole rather complicated setup to redo. So it's good to have a holiday and have the time to actually do it. Um, can we boost anybody? No, we can't really. We could, however, while we're still in... Oops. Yeah, yeah, well, they're still very expensive. We are making a lot of adamantium. We don't really have a way to spend it currently. So I'll just get the 8 grand while I can. Um, Hyperium is also rather expensive, so we'll also get... Another 2k here, and that alleviates my concerns. Um, probably gonna get a couple more heroes actually for systems. I mean, that never really hurts, does it? Let's see what there is on the market. Actually, there are ships, scrapers, cells, uh, just sucky ships. Okay. Um, let us see. There's quite the selection, and they're not too expensive. Um, primitives. I think these technologists... Oh, technologist guardian. That should be a decent ship commander. Because they do have... Pretty awesome, yeah, they're pretty good at ship commanding, though we don't need that, we don't have the fleets currently. A primitive, no, we don't like that. Kraber, Heisho, let's see you. Uh huh, money, influence. It's nice, but not really the thing I need. So probably another... What the hell are you? <laughs> Looks like a hammerhead shark. Yeah, another one of you. That looks pretty good to me. Mm -hmm. We'll take you. It's also not too expensive. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce this. I'm just going to buy you, and there we go. Um, now we'll find a worthy system to put you on. Um, probably sort by productivity. Cepheus is still the most productive. So I guess we'll go on there. Put you there. Level one. There you go. Uh, we're going to get a new colony here. Man, there's loads of things we could build. So we're probably going to go in military tech soon, because we can't keep up with the production queue. <clears throat> How far are we with the siege? Uh, meh. It's not great. But we're getting there. Yeah, so uh, long story short, um, any of you who upgraded their PC recently and uh, could give me a hint as to how impactful that is. Whoops. Yeah, on the... Are you serious? Is that my quest? No. Reach Zubin. 
Okay, so Zubin should be here. Okay, that that should work. Guys, if you're not gonna let me through here, I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna declare war. I mean, I really don't care. I want to finish that quest. I'm gonna give him one turn. Cold War, whatever. Life is full of unexpected events and yeah. Questions. It's gonna make my people happy anyway, so I, it really doesn't matter to me much. Mm, we're gonna get this one, or is there anything we desperately need? Not quite. We'll get you. And then we're out of stuff to make our people happy. Well, isn't that lovely? Out of stuff to make them happy. Mm. <laughs> Don't really need the influence currently. So we'll go with the Xena tourism, and we do have no resources here. I guess we could just produce ships here. Yeah, why not? Geniano. Um, actually, the exotic rations don't seem bad. Turn capacity, and then 10% of the food goes into... Yeah, 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 I like that. Other than that, though, um, there's not really much... Intergalactic Technology Center, we're gonna build somewhere, but not here, most likely. Dum, dum, dum. Yeah, because that's really frustrating me, the end of turn. I'm also hoping that um, a new CPU and board will enable me to uh, play CK3 again. Without the weird stutter lags. Um, ooh. Hey there. Okay, well, a few heroes, whatever. Elo population boost came to an end, but we could... I mean... <laughs> Conquest victory, really? I highly doubt it. 10 out of 28. Okay, there we go, we the could Empire advance it. Oh, the Empire welcomes all race its ideals. Good. Okay, uh, what do you have here? Ah, really nothing. Oh, we'll fight you anyway. Because uh, that's gonna give us... No, it won't give us experience because they are gonna retreat anyway, but yeah. It's fun to make them run. Um, yes, we're gonna take this system and then I think the next step is back to the Sofans again before they gain power. Two, four, six, seven systems. I mean, we do have ten. So... I'm only content. Uh, we do have 10, and we're just gonna leave the war running against the Riftborn, because it's gonna make our people happy to have an enemy. I don't see a reason why not. Okay, so you guys can merge. And now we should be making a 100 turn. Um, that's decent progress. We're gonna take it for one or two more turns at least. This here is fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. We're gonna buy this out, so at least we have some growth. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Zero population is planning an uprest. Where are you people? You're hiding in the in holes in the floor, or what's that? Edesir and Delphinus, okay. Do, 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 do. You are content. <laughs> content people. Uh, we could feed... But it kind of defeats the purpose on what we're trying to achieve on this system. So, uh, we can't yet inhabit ice planets. Okay. That's one to keep in mind. Um, we have this, we have that. Yeah, what do we do here now? Plus one dust per, per curiosity. Yeah, that, that sounds an uh, awesome project. We'll just go with the... We don't really have anomalies here. Like we have no anomalies, and it's just gonna be plus five science. But we really don't have much to do here otherwise. The yeah, eye labor is not really gonna cut it, I mean meh. It's 
Strategic deposits we also don't have. How about one of these? Intergalactic supermarket. I'll think about it. I'll queue it in here. Um, militarists are the leading party there. Um, we could use a bit of influence, actually. So we'll queue that in first. Just for running uh, higher level militarist laws. Okay, and here we have a Kraber, and now we're going to get a... You know what? We're going to ship you to the newly... Here to Gano. Gonna make you a Kraber system there. Alrighty. What? Oh no, we do need some defenses here. Just to gain a bit of militarist support. You know, I wish we could pick the population that gets converted to manpower if we pick the chain gang. But, uh. Won't let us do it. All right, we have a ton and ton of anomalies, um, but we already have that tech for it. Hot and sterile also doesn't look too bad, so we're going to get the AI labor here as well. And uh, luxury deposits, not really. Not really. So we'll just go with you. I think yeah, that's pretty much all we have here. You know what, we'll build this one here as well. Just to raise our profile with the militarists. Oh! We could just do militarist propaganda. Plus 15, plus 20 per turn. The longer it stays in the queue. Uh huh. Interesting, okay. I, I didn't. Didn't have that on my radar. That might be an option for some of these very sad systems, like this one here. That just won't get happy, because they have these weird mixes of political parties. Um, obviously, we're going to still do the cheap stuff. And the colonial rights. I wonder when we'll actually just do militarist propaganda for a while. Doesn't seem too bad. And everybody else is busy though. Rassam. Yeah, you're busy as well. Okay, though. Uh, how are we coming along here? Oh, we didn't end the turn yet. Yeah, these turns are getting longer too. But we should be able to make it if this here is the final system there. And in before there's a three carrier pirate fleet. Ah. Maybe the solution to these long end of turns is just to... Oh, hey! <laughs> I finished another quest. Ah, oh, that's the blue guy. That's the blue guy. I see, I see. Okay, can I please... Thank you. Uh, maybe the solution is just to drink more tea. Reach Zoom in less than 10 turns to intercept the evil guys. And now we get a pirate laser. That sounds like a waste of time. Mm, what? There's a regular... Regular old pirate fleet. A jaw should be a medium one, right? Yeah, it's a medium ship. But, I mean, we have three mediums. They do mostly... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The usual stuff. We'll just go with hull plating absorption, because they do mostly kinetic damage, and there we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And here we go, we get the pirate laser that I really don't need. And Zubin is a really... Oh man, it's a sad, sad system. So I'll bring... <laughs> I'll bring the fleet back home. But we get a skill. And I like to get a skill. We will have... More shield capacity on the ship, I'm thinking. Yeah, the good stuff comes here. 20 hull plate absorption and 20% damage on the fleet. Mm, yum, yum, yum. So I think we'll go with this. Um, we could go with the vision range and experience a turn. is also not bad. But... 40% shield capacity is also not bad. Because it does seem to be for the fleet. 
so. And uh, the human... What the hell is that? That's like a crystalloid hammerhead shark. I mean, it's creative, I'll give you that. It just doesn't seem like a functional thing to be. Okay, um, we do have more food. Not really. Uh, we'll just go for the cash. There you go. Yeah, it really doesn't look functional. I mean, how, how are you going to eat dinner even? I mean... Hmm. Looks like one of these crustaceans. Anyway, enough philosophy about that. Right, so we have an objective. Uh, seek the unique. Okay, so we can't really choose, really. Uh, we get a hero if we colonize or create an outpost on four unique planets in less than 30 turns. Um, we probably, by accident, will complete that. Just by besieging and conquering a couple of planets. Artemis, my dear friend, uh, I'd be a little bit happier, would you? Have some colony, some colonial rights, and then we'll also build some defense here, probably. Mm. We're gonna use the productivity to build a couple of ships. Seems worth it here. Got the intertransportation thing. And uh, if we're gonna build ships, there was one... Oh, didn't we have that building that gives you extra ship XP? Did you build it already? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. Apparently not. But in two turns we're gonna be... Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of all that nonsense. Um, I know it'll just... Can we do this? We're gonna be nine. Not really. Won't change much, will it? No, we're still gonna be content. Fine. You just go... Um, bum, bum, bum. Psychoactive air. Well, it makes people happy. I mean, well, you just lose a bit of science, but hey, that's that's all right. Okay, and then which planet was it that we wanted to get rid of the cravers here? But we're gonna partially deplete the system first, and then we move the cravers over to Ganu. And if we had any here, but we don't. We don't. Oh, shoot, I forgot to, oh, whatever. I'll just quickly rush to the... <clears throat> there we go, political trends, we're now entrenched. Not that anybody had a choice, but... Always good to get that reassurance. And... Piscis. I don't think so, guys. Because we really do like the Dust City of Trees, though I probably let them colonize it, and then I'll just take it. Hey, we got a bonus. Um, plus 1% damage on ships per depleted planet. Wow! That could amount to quite the unfair advantage. Uh, no, thank you. Don't want to choose. Um, we want your system. And that seems ripe. Let's, let's get it. Um, you know what, since they're... we'll just blitz it. Minor victory and they'll have to draft already. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, see, we have to pay a thousand to keep going at them. But uh, lucky this time we can afford it. The problem really is we can't afford uh, that that quest. Because up here there's a carrier and two medium-sized ships with decent weaponry. And we can't really afford to build a fleet that can take them on. We don't have carriers ourselves, so... Sad. Hashtag sad. Um, can we do anything here? Nothing really. Mm. That's not really worth it here. We do need science output sometime soon. Duh, I don't really have much, but I mean it is extra dust. Let's go for the approval first. Get the museum going. It's 40 per level plus 15. Let's see our systems. 
115 in bricks. Why is that so... Oh, so we probably want to build it here. And conveniently, we also need to manage our... Why are you less happy on this system than on this system? That is strange. Don't understand it. Don't have to, though. Uh, you just get your plus 10 for the luxury deposits and then some colonial rights. And then we'll just colonize you. Maybe in between here. Because that's going to give us plus 20 for the predictive logistics. Right. But next turn we should be happy anyway. We will find that out in the next episode, guys. Well, actually, we move our fleet first. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll find that out in the next episode because I am at the end of this one. So thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you around for the next one.